look at the relationship Joe and Detender share, and I see the unconditional love you see in fairy tales and in storybooks. It is enough to conquer any fear and obstacle they may face. I am so happy to be here tonight and to share this wonderful, beautiful evening. This beautiful day, we thought it was gonna rain today. And it did, for good luck. But after that, it was fine. The sun came out, and it was beautiful. I really struggled very hard. I want to find the perfect quote to kind of tell my son what he means to me and what he's meant to me. And I researched and I researched, and I ended up finding, instead of some famous philosopher or some wise soul, I ended up deciding on choosing the words from Jack Pearson, who's not even a real person, but a character on a television show. And, you know, most of the time when I watch this show, it's called This Is Us, I kind of look and I look at Jack and I think, boy, I wish I was a better dad. I wish I did things the way Jack did. And then there's some moments when I see Jack and I say, what he feels really mirrors everything I've experienced watching my five children grow up into these amazing women and men. And on one episode, I was actually jolted. And, and um, it was a point where Jack talks to his son, the son he adopted at birth. And he, as he tells Randall, it reminded me very much of a day almost 22 years ago, when on a rainy day in Puebla, Mexico, I grabbed the hand of a little guy and taught him his first English word was, was rain. And the quote Jack says to his son is, the moment I saw you, I knew you were my boy. You were not a choice. You were a fact. And Joseph, I remember feeling so much that way 22 years ago, and I felt entirely the same way today. If I had to describe my sister to Tinder, it would be really hard. She's the most caring, considerate person I have ever met, and the most beautiful person from the inside and out. She is ridiculously hilarious, especially when she doesn't mean to be. Joe, growing up, he was the type of guy that was very headstrong always knew what he wanted, and when he wants something, he'll go after it. And I feel the gender is the exact same way, which makes him a good couple. So today has been uh, amazing so far. I, we've all been waiting for this moment. I couldn't wait to see Jatin in those dresses. I helped her pick them. I was there for both of them. She's truly my best friend. She's very strong, very independent. She gives excellent advice. The um, cufflinks were from Mexico, where I was from, and the bracelet was my pop-ups. Joe is probably has the biggest heart in the world. He is strong-willed, but it will serve him well in the future. I think he has the strength and courage to face lots of things in life. He is just a good man all around. This day is just going uh, very special. It definitely feels like a fairy tale, just because, I mean, that's my brother. What I love about Joe and Joe Tinder is how well they complement each other. He can be more reserved at times while she's very outgoing. And there have been times where she, she's more reserved and he's more outgoing. I love the balance between the two and the relationship that they have. Again, so happy for Joe. For someone to wait that long to be with a person who wasn't in a situation to be with at the time was one of the most beautiful things that I have come to see happen today. Jatender is perfect for Joe. 
I think that Joe is the perfect match for her because he is strong. She's strong too. She's a strong woman coming into a strong family. Joe is used to strong women, so it will be a very good match. First time I met Jatender was definitely my high school graduation. Just the best story I would have to say is just wow, I can't believe meeting for the first time, you're meeting everybody. So for her not to run away with our family, that was just incredible. She just fit right in. I've never seen so happy bringing somebody for the first time and meeting the whole family, introducing his girlfriend. I definitely am looking forward to calling her a sister-in-law. She's definitely been nothing but a great role model. And I just hope someday that I can be just as happy as they are. Jatina told me about this day about a year ago. She's like, yo, the wedding rehearsal is going to be in about a week. So re wedding rehearsal comes and I'm just like, okay, so in about a week she's going to get married. May 6th comes. It didn't really hit me until I walked her down the aisle and I had to hand her off to Joe and that I realized that my sister's getting married. And she's going to be a wife, a future mother, and I'm going to be a future uncle. The weather was a little on the downside, but to appreciate the sun, you gotta know what rain is. We've been through the rain, and now it's time for sunshine, and we're shining here. I think everything is going great. I would like to say my favorite part is the church. Going into, you know, into a church, something brand new, and that shows a lot of courage and a lot of love. It means so much to my brother that he wanted to get married in church and the fact that she was willing to sacrifice and become a part of his beliefs and just a part of this whole journey. I just find it the happiest I've ever seen them. Just locking eyes together and just smiling and we're here for them. We're here to celebrate them and I just, just see a lot of love in the air. My favorite part about today, I'd have to say, walking her down the aisle and handing her off to Joseph Moore, like, couldn't have asked for a better man. I couldn't have asked for a better family for her to marry into. And thank you to her family, thank you to all her friends, to my lovely sister, Gurpreet, to us just being there for her. I'll never forget the first time I met Jatender. I know it from the start. They had this great connection with each other that could not be broken. From a brother's perspective, all you want is your brother to be happy. With Joe, I mean, and Jatender in their future, I really see a lot of happiness because Jatender definitely has brightened my brother's life, his face, and the fact that he has a partner that can understand him and listen to him, someone that can fill his life and make him feel like he's one of a kind. That's a blessing, especially seeing that as a younger sibling. I hope to see that in my life, and I hope that you see that not just in my life, but for my sisters and for my younger brother. Pretender. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As the sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Joseph. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. No one would ever fancy that two couples would meet in a Macy's shoe department. Two lovebirds found each other. So thank you to Joe, thank you to Jay for finding this remarkable young man at a Macy's shoe department. 
You know, love stories just happen anywhere, and like Mr. Malala said, this is a true American love story. People would say this is just, this is the ending, but to me, I think this is just the beginning because that was just my, one milestone that they crossed and they got a couple more to go, especially with moving into a new house, becoming a family, having kids, having their sisters and brothers become uncles and aunts. And from there, I guess we'll just have to see where it leads to. We'll just have to see where that story unfolds. Thank you to Joe for choosing my sister. Thank you to Tinder for choosing Joe. Because honestly, you guys are the perfect fit. You guys balance each other out, and I couldn't have asked for anything better. I don't think Preet could have asked for anything better, and your friends could have asked for anything better. This has been the epitome of what I expected, and you set the bar high. So for us, we are greatly thankful. Thank you, Jatinder. Thank you, Joe. First, I want to thank everybody for coming. I, honestly, this is, this is literally the best day of my whole life. Besides being adopted to the most wonderful parents that I can imagine, <laughs> this to me is, is, is glory. My whole life, especially 22 years ago from now, I never pictured that I would be here in this moment and sharing this moment with everybody here. Everybody here has made me the man I am today. And not only the made me the man that I am today, but the man who Jatender has looked and said, oh my God, <laughs> that's him. So, so on that note, I want to thank everybody for coming. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for making this day unbelievable. I can't, I can't thank you enough. I love everybody. Make sure you try the J and J. <laughs> I love you guys both so much. I am so happy for this day, and let's be honest, we knew it was going to happen sooner or later. The way you look at each other, and the way you hold each other, that's something that not very many people have, and that's what everybody wants, and you guys have it, and you didn't force it, it just came naturally. And finally, to my son and his beautiful bride, my new daughter-in-law. There's a big difference between falling in love and falling in love with someone that you marry. And that usually when you marry, you actually fall in love even more. So that's my toast to you both. That from this day forward, you fall in love more. This is the starting point, okay? And if you do that, Joseph and Jatender, you will be blessed with a wonderful, wonderful life and a wonderful marriage. I love you both, and I ask God's blessings on both of you and on this marriage. So sit cheers. Salud.
When I see Jatinder, I see a beautiful, strong, courageous young woman who goes after what she wants. And Joe, I don't know how exactly you put up with her, but I've done it myself and I think, you know, isn't she a pleasure? After I met Joe, I knew I wouldn't want any other person being with my sister. There are just no words. You both have big hearts, and I know Joe, fighting for my sister in any way, whether, you know, it was something that she wanted at the store, you know, and she's like, oh, yes, I really want this. And Joe was like, no, you don't really need it. But she said, I wanted it. But he did it.